Hello, this is my second rainbow method video, and when we factor polynomials, we often see these polynomials that have numbers out in front. If your polynomial that you want to factor has a number out in front, you have to use what's called the rainbow method to do it. Now, the way this is done is, what we do is we actually draw a rainbow from the first number to the last number, and we multiply them together. So I'm going to go ahead and try that right now. What I want to do is, I want to take that first number and multiply it by that last number. So we end up getting a rainbow that looks like this. From the 6 all the way to this negative 3. And if the negative is out in front of a number, go ahead and keep that out in front of the number. That's going to make it a negative 3. So we know that 6 times negative 3 is going to give us negative 18. So I put that new rainbow number at the top of the rainbow. This is going to become our new multiplying number. So when we draw our MA chart, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an M on the left side and I'm going to put an A on the right side. So the M stands for multiply, the A stands for add, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this rainbow number and we're going to put it in the multiplying column. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. And the adding number is always going to come out right here in the middle. So we take that middle number and we put it in the adding column. So at this point, what we have to do is we have to find two numbers that are going to multiply to negative 18, but those same two numbers have to add up to 7. So this is where you can start brainstorming numbers. If you already know them, you can write them down under the 7x. But right here, I think the MA column makes for a nice way to organize your ideas. The first thing that I think of is 6 and 3. So I'm going to go ahead and write those down. Now, notice that if you do negative 6 times positive 3, you will get to negative 18. So I do need to put a negative right here. But notice they're not going to add up to 7 because what's negative 6 plus 3? That's going to be negative 3. So that's not going to work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cross out these two numbers since they don't work and move on to the next pair of numbers that might work. So now let's try 9 and 2. So at this point we have 9 times 2 is positive 18. I want to make sure they multiply to the negative 18 so one of these numbers has to be negative. Now, if I put the negative on the 9, what's going to happen is I'm going to get 2 plus negative 9. But that doesn't give me positive 7, does it? It gives me negative 7. So instead of doing that, I'm going to put the negative on the 2. So now at this point, we have two numbers that work. 9 times negative 2 is negative 18, and 9 plus negative 2 is 7. So now we found our pair of numbers that works. And keep in mind, only one pair of numbers is going to work for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break up this middle term into the two numbers with x's beside them. We're going to need a 9x, and we're going to need a negative 2x. So all I've done is I've taken those pair of numbers that we found, and I've broken up the middle term by doing 9x and negative 2x. All I've done is I've taken those numbers and put x's beside them. All right, so the next step of the rainbow method is to make sure that we group together the right terms. What I want to do is I want to take that first term out in front, and I want to pair it up with our first grouping term. So let's go ahead and get parentheses out for this. I want to take that 6x squared, and I want to put it with that 9x. Notice the 9 is positive, so i got to put a plus out in front. Go ahead and close that up. Next, I have, what I have to do is I have to take this negative 2x and put it with that last term. So let me get another parentheses going. And we're going to have a negative 2x and a negative 3. Notice that's a negative 2, so you've got to bring that negative down. And this is a negative 3, so you have to bring the negative down. All right. Now we take out the GCF from both parentheses. So the GCF is what you have to take out when the two terms have something in common. So looking at this 6, looking at this 9, the biggest number they have in common is a 3, so I'm going to take out a 3. And notice they also have an x in common. This has one of the x's, this has two of the x's, so the most x's that they have in common would be just one x. And that's what I take out, just one x. 
Notice 3x is the GCF of this parentheses. And then I write out what I have left once I take it out. So I need a 2 to get back to 6, so I need a 2. And I also need another x because x times x will give me x squared. Go ahead and bring down that plus, same sign. And I need to figure out what I need to multiply 3x by to get back to 9x. So obviously 3 times 3 is 9, so I'm going to need a 3 right here. Now we're done with the first parentheses. Now looking at the second set of parentheses, what I notice first is that they have two negatives right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take out a negative, but I'm going to have to put a 1 beside it. We'll see how this works out when we get to the last step. But basically all I'm doing is I'm taking out a negative. So every single term inside here is going to flip signs. This used to be a negative 2x. Now it's going to be a positive 2x. This used to be a negative 3. Now it's going to turn into a positive 3. So now you're probably noticing that the parentheses are the same. This is what we always need when we do the rainbow method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, merge them into one copy, a 2x plus 3. We only need one copy, even though we have two copies up here. And then I take whatever's left and put it in the parentheses to the left side of it. We need a 3x, so I'm going to put that here. And we need a minus 1, so I'll put that right here and go ahead and close it up. And that's how you factor. So the rainbow method is really useful only when you have a number out in front of the x squared. It's this number out here that makes the rainbow method worthwhile in doing. Now, in my previous videos, I've noticed that uh, if you don't have this number out in front, all you have to do is find two numbers that will multiply to the last number and add up to the middle number. But it's this 6 out in front that makes me know I have to use the rainbow method. So I hope that helps you out if you're factoring and you're taking a math test and you're trying to figure out how to factor a polynomial. Once again, this is the rainbow method, and this is only for trinomials that have a number out in front. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to bed.